we are cosmic servers of infinite intelligence. Namaste, dear being of the universe. Thank you for tuning in to this transmission. Thank you for your existence in this reality, in this <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a projection of your consciousness, like you know, because you are it. <laughs> the more I feel my third eye opens, when the third eye opens, I realize how everything is in the field of possibilities. It's a quantum field, it's only energy. Everything is potential energy. All vibrational realities exist simultaneously. And that means that it is truly possible to jump between parallel realities, hop timelines, and I have done that. Of course, we all have a lot. Everything is right here at your fingertips. Every potential reality, every dimension, every thing in the entire universe because you are that it's all within you and I know you know all this you do <sighs> but can you experience these states of consciousness in your actual reality in the human body because of course when we are actually experiencing these higher planes, it's all absolutely clear because it works like that, like that, like that. Here it's a bit more playing with density and this collective creation, this collective hologram is a vibrational reality that matches our vibration like you know that 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 just activate it now <sighs> the remembrance of what this is what is this you know because you are it truly everything is within it's only a matter of whether you limit your perception or not if you believe that you cannot understand something, you never will, because it's a law. Your belief is a law, because it's hologram reality. Hmm. And the challenge in this reality is that we have been programmed a lot of beliefs that are, are manifesting as our reality, and we may not even realize it because they were given to us as truths they were given to us as something that just is that way and we started adopting those belief systems and of course that affects our perception of reality 
also what's important is to see that even though everything 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 is possible always from that quantum perspective whatever you experience is okay there's nothing wrong with any experience of reality because the thought that something is wrong with that limits you because that's the thing if you really want to let yourself experience this higher dimensional experience on this earth playground you have to let go of all these thoughts that I'm trying to experience a higher dimension now I'm trying to surrender to experience of oneness or I'm trying to control my reality because that is also a trap that is something that limits you to the trying game that is something that changes the way you perceive reality in that way that then it's it's your ego program i mean the only way to truly serve the quantum field of possibilities is by not being attached to this hologram by being behind it like i've emphasized a lot but you only control it when you are not in it because realize that you are truly never in this it's only an experience that you're having through this flesh suit but it's not real or solid really it's like a simulation why is it like a simulation because there is no objective reality somewhere there is seemingly the collective creation and and yes i i see it that we see it like that but for you as a god particle there only is your perception of reality and potential energy that exists there somewhere everywhere which is right here i mean when you awaken to living your life from these that i would call the zero point center of creation you realize that it's all in your access right now it's not somewhere outside of you because that's also an illusionary perception which is 100 percent okay to have but it's a different way to live because you're still reaching for something else which means that you're still in separation consciousness and if we truly want to experience the higher higher potential in this human experience we have to realize that it's us this hologram is a projection of us we're living in that state where we see that we are it there is nothing outside of us oh this i wanted to share i was channeling already a few months ago and i was asking about the universe this all came through from my guides my team my higher self i felt like i was fully bathing in this remembrance which like i said on one of my last videos has been my main focus right now to access the forgotten <laughs> which of course as well is sort of part of the game this universe is like one browser they showed me a lot of different browsers and you know you see that the internet is accessible anywhere and it's all there it's all there the internet is is right here right here you know <laughs> when you access 
access one browser, you access one universe with one type of, yeah, set of rules. Now we are in this kind of duality, polarity game. And you, as a player, as a consciousness, enter that browser and you start surfing different websites, which means you're surfing different experiences, play different games, so many different games, but they're all there right in the same place. You never left, you're only playing them and experiencing them, all these virtual realities and gathering knowledge and doing different things. You like imagine like what all you can do just in one type of internet, which is this one type of universe. And I asked, are there other universes? Yes, there are. There are infinite amount of universes, it's a multiverse and all these different dimensions that can be experienced and it's not all only this duality stuff. This is one type of experience that we are within. This like masculine, feminine, all this. And I I asked like, is there something outside the browser? And of course, the first answer that I got was, well, there is no outside or inside, it's only part of your your universe. And then you could say that it's beyond, and well, how I interpret that, that what is beyond is source. I'm receiving something telepathically and my brain is interpreting it into words. And that's when the challenge comes into play. If there's someone or something not within my consciousness, it's difficult to translate it correctly. Recently I've been channeling the nine. That's how they call themselves. The nine being a council which I realized and accessed a lot about is my means for this incarnation. Like I came through them with them for them here into this physical experience. But that's only just one, yeah, one layer, one level of the game. So this I wanted to emphasize, like there are all these layers and levels of of the game, but when you access, you know, the beyond, you are in that higher understanding that you never left. It's all you. It's all just a projection of consciousness. Like, that's that's it. Like, you could look at that. Even this right here is something happening on the internet, which is the universe, which is the browser <laughs> that you're surfing. And it's all, it's all right here. You're within it. You're, you're never left. You never left. You never left. You never left. Can you feel that? No. Never left. <laughs> and now you keep hearing, you never left. You never left in your ear all night. <laughs> but that is the freedom realizing that even though there's something happening somewhere, some here, whatever experience that's going on, that you are observing, that you are experiencing through your body, it's just something on the internet. <laughs> it's just something in the universe. It's just something and there's no reason to resist it it's only an experience when you get beyond this duality perspective when you get into this perspective of beyond or here within it just is and 
from this state you can serve the quantum field from this state you can create your reality awakening to the remembrance that no matter what someone told us in this projection of reality about us about reality about this you are <sighs> you that's true peace to see that there is no definition you should ever fulfill there is nothing you should really ever try to be or be or all this trying game once again is it's just part of the game <laughs> there is everything that's part of the game and it's here and it's trying to get our focus and it's trying to keep us entertained but the only way to true empowerment is to get beyond the game. To get beyond separation. To realize it's okay to be right there where you are at. Right now. Right here. Amen.